again, once again, once again, the kid gets screwed by the infinite nothingness in the world that always fucks me up. So today, my new fun dilemma is that after all this year, two years of making these videos, using mostly on the phone, and then I'm some on my shitty laptop, and then some on an actual good camcorder I have, but I can't really use it because my laptop is so shitty, I can't really process the, the fucking little thing that you put in the little card. So it's really good at collecting dust. Well, almost a tripod and everything. That's good. It's good. Collects dust. Can't record nothing. Perfect. Laptop worked for a while, and then it just decided uh, not to anymore. It'll do internet. It'll do everything else, but it, it won't record. It won't record correctly anyway. I sound like chipmunks. It's like that every time I record. So, you know, I came very close to smashing it into smithereens the way it should be. But I didn't. So I've been relying on my fucking phone that I now hate. Or is it video shop? I don't know. Video, I've never had a problem with making videos with video shop been pretty easy and fun actually so today I go out there because I haven't made a video in a long time and I mean the Bowie's been calling my name so I'm out there doing it. I prepare bring all my stuff out everything I was gonna do sharpening video too on top of it I was gonna do the cuts on the, on the hanging water bottles and it, show the damage they've done and then I was going to show how I sharpen a Bowie the right way to sharpen a Bowie knife and a few knives and then I was going to redo the cuts again showing the effectiveness of sharpening process and all that good stuff but didn't get to do it because uh, I guess because it's September now and after a certain like six o'clock I guess the sun just goes uh, six o'clock, pitch black dark, 601, and there's no more sunlight. So I, I got most of it done though in a little bit of sunlight. And I gather all my stuff up, scratching all my mosquito bites and shit. Come in here, and right, at least I got some decent stuff done. And some of it was funny and, and on the spot, and the water bottle swank hit me in the head, it was funny. So I come in here, it's just not even five minutes ago, just to sit down and watch it, edit it, and then I plan to upload it. I was even going to consider putting it on my Rogue Combatives channel. Not happening. Nope, not happening. Because now, all of a sudden, the video shop work it recorded the whole video they got some new they fixed it up but there's a miracle in jason's videos because on jason's new videos now they just did there's no volume none i had the volume on there's nothing plugged into it to stop it i was just like this talking and it, it used to give you this little thing there where you can adjust the volume after you record it if you want to make it lower or higher it didn't it give me nothing none of that no option just no sound haha <laughs> no sound haha <laughs> jokes on you waste my fucking time and it's so frustrating because it happens out of nowhere you know out of nowhere these bizarre things just fucking happen, man. And it, oh, it gets me so mad because I waste, I waste time and I hate wasting time. Maybe 
I wasn't so fucking poor, you know, and I had a lot of money, I could buy some decent equipment that would work all the time and I can actually get shit done. And even maybe actually boost some of my videos. I've never boosted a video. Never, you know. Why? Because that costs money to, to boost it. And that's why most people who have their channels and have all their numbers and subscriptions and bullshit is because they boost probably daily, you know, or whatever. And that's, to me, it's just like that's kind of cheating or something in a way. I, I thought, you know, like fucking just do it and put it out and let it rest on you and your thing. And, and deal with it if people like it or not. And keep going if people like it or not. But no, it's usually always people have a get out of jail card for free and they can just, uh, you know, boost it, 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 boost it and then, until they, they get enough shit by default, you know? And I don't care, keep doing that. Keep making yourself fucking weak, you know? I don't care. I really don't care. What I care about is when I get fucking limited. When I get held back and slowed down or stopped or forced to go off course because of someone or something else. That usually is fucking up. And they're not living right or whatever, and therefore they're fucked up, their mistake, their uh, lack of anything it slows you down. It's in front of you in the line at the store or at the bank, and, and shit, or people waiting for an ATM, and then they figure out when they get to the ATM, ATM off. Oh. Oh, I have to put a card in the ATM. Oh, I, I never did that. Jeez, where's my where's my card? Uh, Harley, can you give me my card? Fucking mad, man. man. Oh, fucking mad. This is not even really helping. I mean, it is a little bit, but what I'm doing is I'm testing to see if the, the volume works on the camera setup that iPhone gives you, and which, you know, the videos are as basic and as crude as you can be, but if it does work, you know what? I might say, fuck you to video shop and delete that motherfucker today and never use it again. And I'll... I guess it won't affect me. I mean, you know, my videos aren't fancy or good or anything like that. You know, they're just... Okay, look at that. Isn't that weird that the helicopter hovering? It's like over... I don't know where the fuck it is, but it's just staying there. It's weird. Okay, I'm back out of the store. I forgot to check if the helicopter was still hovering. Um, but every now and then I get the urge when I see the the rub off tickets. See, all my trouble might be over.
course I picked the number 10, whichever one of the 10 was. And that's for me. So I am doing this lame ass shit talking while I walk because I seem to have forgotten how to talk or on camera anyway you know I I would dissect it you know, my uh, problems and things and I'm always analyzing all that and, and it's it, I don't care what it looks like or what anyone thinks you know I only care what occurs to me to be the right thing to do and you know I reckon the goal the end goal of all of this this game this game we call life for me really is not the acquiring of bullshit material stuff and definitely not the the weak worshipping of of the almighty dollar uh, none of that that shit you know to me what I cherish and strive for and my goal for life is to figure myself out at the end, to master myself completely, not just physically, mentally, spiritually, and then to take that a step further and, and try to spread it, you know, try to, to not try, do, you know, fight the darkness in the world. You know, I view, view it as, you know, that's the, the same force, the same evil uh, that has worked its way into my life at such a very young, young age, infancy, basically, and ever on. And I'm always fighting it, and but now I'm turning the corner, and I'm getting stronger and smarter and I no longer get taken down and out by things that used to easily take me down and out you know anything could anything but you know these two years past two years of pretty much isolation you know completely being by myself almost constantly it was very fucking hard you know very hard so easy to to give up but that's not in my my DNA to give up you know I would rather die going for what I want to go for than rather just, just meekly give in you know, I'm gonna die with your boots on type of thing. Wow, look at that sun. Cool, look at it. Let me unmagnify that. Whoop. That looks cool. Oh, wow. That looks real.